In the previous video, we started building our first Xamarin iOS application, and we designed it completely in C Sharp code, including the user interface. But I now want to introduce you to the storyboard. The storyboard is a way that we can graphically design our UI. And if you have some previous iOS experience, you may have heard of another format called a zip file. And I just want to point out the differences really quickly between them. So first, zip and storyboard, they're both used to design your UI graphically. The difference is, is that a zip file is for a screen, a single screen, whereas a storyboard can be used to develop and design multiple screens. And since you can design multiple screens in a single storyboard file, you're actually able to also visualize the navigation between those pages. And like I said, we'll see more and more of this throughout this series. But now we're going to take some time just kind of going through the UI of the storyboard. So you can see I have a new project here. It's called Intro to Storyboard, and I'm connected to my Mac build host. If you're on a Mac computer, this will look a little bit different, but you'll be using Visual Studio for Mac. Now you can see on the left hand side, I have my toolbox. This is just like any other IDE development environment, just like WPF or Windows Forms. You have a toolbox with a bunch of tools and I can take an item in here, let's say a button, and I can drag and drop it onto the screen. Now, once I drag and drop a control onto the screen, you'll see that I can actually access the properties. So on my right hand side, I have this little properties pane. Let me pin this move this around a little bit. The properties pane can be used to control the properties of that button. So for example, one of the properties would be the text. So I can change the text to say my button. And I can go in and I can move that. So you can see I can modify colors and styles and a bunch of different things for all the different controls that are available. Now, if you look in this center area, where the screen is, this is the actual designing area. And you have a lot of options. The first thing you're gonna notice is though, when you create a new iOS application, your view controllers will look like this. It's a, a pretty generic view. Um, and this is actually not the size of any iOS device. So if you go to the top left, you can see it says view as, and I have different form factors here. And as you see, when I switch this, you can see it's actually switching in my designer. And this is really not that important. For the most part, you should always be in generic mode because when you design your UI in generic mode using auto layout and constraints, which we'll talk about in the future, it should look good on all different form factors. On the left-hand side over here, this is dealing with size classes. We'll also eventually talk about that, but for now it's not important. On the right hand side, you see some buttons for constraints. Constraints are used to help size and position our controls so that they look good on multiple platforms um, and form factors. And over here are some tools for zooming in and out of the IDE. But besides that, it's pretty straightforward. So what I wanna do is I wanna just throw some controls and run the application so that you can see these are actually getting rendered. Now you have to be careful because like I said, this is a generic view and no actual iOS device looks like this. So if I run it on iPhone 8, if I put this all in the right hand side, it may not be visible because an iPhone 8 is not as wide as this. And we'll be able to fix this eventually when we use auto layout and constraints, but for now, we're just gonna put this in the top left hand corner so it's most likely going to be visible. I'll also add a label just to show you another control and I'll change the labels text to my label. I'll also show you that we can change, uh, you know, colors of it. Uh, for example, let's set the color to red, just to give you an example, I'll put that right there. And I'll also add one more control, I'll add a text field. A text field is basically just a text box. I'll make that a little bit bigger, and I'll empty the text in that. So once again, I'm not really building an application just quite yet. I'm just trying to show you some controls on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on my iPhone 8 and let's see what this looks like. And here we are, here's my simulator up and running and you can see I have my button, my label, and I have a text box that I can type in some text. 
So, so far, you can see we can design our UI using the storyboard. Up next, we're going to talk about how we can use constraints so that we can build UIs that look good on all platforms and form factors.